Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? You see this text effect right here? This is um, a rendition of chromatic aberration that I found while surfing the net. This is a crazy effect. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Um, I animated this effect on my home on, in one of my videos with After Effects, but it originated in uh, Photoshop, so I had to bring it to you all. And um, I'm gonna have links for these two fonts. This font right here, the main font, is uh, Robo. It's called Robo. It, uh, I'll have a link in the, des the description. And this one is PC Senior right here. But uh, let's get into this. And I'll, I'll also during this um, tutorial, I'm gonna show you all how to do these these scan lines right here. If anyone unfamiliar, it's very simple. But let's go up to New, File, New, Open. Right, I'm gonna I'm make it 2,000 by 2,000. That's kind of it's kind of big, sort of to be anyway. All right, I didn't want that, but I'm about to change the. Um, we're gonna fill this transparent layer with a very dark gray, and it's going to be 14, 14, 14. All righty, grab the paint bucket, fill that in. Alrighty, now let's have a uh, make sure you downloaded the Robo font. I'm gonna select Robo now, and you know what I'm typing in. Gilded App Five. Let me change the let me change the foreground color to white. Gilded App Five. There we go. Try to place that in the middle. What we're gonna do now is we're going to duplicate we're going to make three duplicates we're going to duplicate the layer three times and what I did I duplicated the layer once and then I held shift and clicked and selected both layers and I'm just going to duplicate one more time and uh, I got my three duplicates and right off the bat we're going to rasterize all three all three uh, fonts I'm going to rasterize them real quick all three titles selected all the layers right click go to rasterize type bam there we go now I want you to select the first layer and with the first layer the first copy layer selected hold control L that's gonna bring up the uh, the levels chart what we're gonna do is we're gonna select red and we're gonna go to output levels and we're gonna take it all the way to zero then we're gonna select green and do the same thing bam you should have this exact same color scheme going on right now. I'm going to do that to the second layer also. Whoops. Wrong button. Control L on the second layer. And we're going to grab green. And we're going to take it all the way to the bottom. Then we're going to go to blue. Output level. Take it to the bottom. To zero. There we go. You don't see an, a, an, a change yet, but well, you see it in the layers panel. It's like, check this out. See, we're changing the colors. Now we're going to go to the last layer that we rasterize. We're going to Control L, and we're going to select red. And take that all the way to zero. The output level to zero. We're going to select blue and take that output level to zero. Now, now we have green. We have a uh, green. Let me show you. Green layer. Look how green that is. Red and blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this, the original copy, to the top. Put that over the other uh, three. And now, with the uh, arrow, with the pointer move tool selected, we're going to select the first layer and we're going to move it two times, two or three times to the right, depending on your taste but I'm gonna move this over let me zoom in first let me zoom in 67 percent so you can get a better look at it BAM here we go alrighty we're gonna nudge this with the d-pad the arrow keys on the uh, the keyboard you see that you see it's slowly starting to show its peek its head out alright and now I nudge that to the right this second layer, I'm going to nudge.
Oh uh, man, I just got a malfunction, man. One of my hotkeys for the recording program is set to stop the recording. Oh my goodness. But yeah, like I was saying before, you got the blue. We nudged the blue to the right. You see it's peeking its head out right here. Now I'm going to select the red layer. And I'm going to nudge it up. Nudge it up about three times. And it all depends on your taste, really. How you feel about it. Nudge that up. And what I'm going to do to the green, I'm going to nudge it backwards. It's about three times backwards. Alright, there we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add a um, Gaussian blur to each layer. Ready? I'm going to blur it out to two pixels. Alright, hit OK. Same with the other two copied layers also, the colored layers. That's all you gotta do. Bam. Bam. Clock Gaussian blur. Alrighty. And now what we're gonna do? We're gonna set all of these layers to exclusion. The copies we're gonna set to exclusion. Alrighty. Now let's let's see let's see our magic um, working. Select the uh, original copy and we're gonna set that to overlay. You can't appreciate it yet. Not not quite yet you can't. But we could kinda Oh, see, too much. I nudged it a little bit too much. And that happens. When you nudge it too much, that happens. So Whoops. There we go. Nothing ever really matters. The the first layer we're gonna rasterize that one also, and then set to overlay. All right, there we go. All righty. Um, now I'm gonna show you this scan line effect. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go to File New, and we're gonna set this. This is crazy. I I just did it again, man. I'll just start this whole thing over, but I'm not because I'm a I'm 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 a warrior, yo. I'm a warrior and we're gonna keep it going even though I stopped the video twice I'm sorry but the width we're gonna make it uh, 10 pixels by 10 pixels uh, make sure your background content is set it transparent um, really any of this other stuff really doesn't matter resolution doesn't really matter but alright um, matter of fact we're gonna take the resolution to 72 I'm experimenting. Alrighty, and what we need to do is zoom in about 2500%. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the marquee tool and we're going to select the top five uh, pixel rows. <coughs> top five pixel rows. So what we're doing is selecting the hot top half of the screen. And we're going to set the foreground to black. Make sure it's set to black. Hold control and hit backspace. Whoops. Hold alt and hit backspace. Sorry about that. Alrighty, with that with that the top half um black and the bottom half uh transparent, we're gonna go up to select and we're gonna select all. And then we're gonna go over to edit and define pattern. And what we're gonna call this is T V scan lines. Ready? Now go back to our original, our original picture, and we're going to, to go. We're going to create a new layer. And we're going to go to Edit and Fill. And what we're going to do is Contents. We're going to go to Pattern and select our pattern. And we're going to hit OK. <gasps> scan lines scan lines and now we we're gonna mess around with the, uh, with the blend mode really quick uh, we're gonna set the blend mode to soft light and we're gonna set the opacity of this layer to 25 percent already where's 25 percent at bam 25 percent already 
there we go now what I want you to do is create another layer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to fill this is we're about to create some noise go to edit fill we're gonna go to 50 percent gray hit OK alright we're gonna go to filter noise add noise and it's gonna be set at 16 percent make sure a monochromatic is not checked and we're gonna have glossy and blur selected hit OK alrighty and we're going to set this layer it's blend mode at multiply see little subtle effects like that subtle effects like that little subtle effects like that now now we gotta get intense okay we gotta stop playing around and we gotta really bring out this chromatic this chromatic aberration effect because we have to that's why just because it's go time it's not playing around time and all I'm doing is I'm nudging these out even further I'm nudging them out even further and um you know blue to the right red up and green to the left and and there you have it oh oh one more thing let's let's make this an official an official game looking screen old school game looking screen with messed up TV screen alright here we go put the start right here with the PC senior but yeah this is just the basics like like you you can mess around with this effect and just come up with anything you like this I'm just showing you the basics um download links for these fonts will be in the um in the description as well as discounted prices to Adobe products if you don't already own them already I don't know why you wouldn't watching this video but if you don't get them and you can get them at discount prices in the description but hey um sorry for all the interruptions I was I don't know man. I got to I got to start remembering what my hotkeys are. But hey, I hope you like the effect. I'd love to see your work, post your work. Uh whatever you'd like to do, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. But hey, thank you all for watching. Have a happy YouTube and day. Take care.